46 people were hospitalized drinking this board drink. They had 28 ambulance arrive to try and help the situation. Where the heck are they finding this many ambulances? And what kind of party are they having where that many people are consuming an entire board drink? Coach Greg, and in today's video, we're talking about the Borg. Young people, they're going crazy for this. They're drinking at college campuses, parties, and so on. And they're carrying around a one-gallon jug filled with alcohol, water, meal with caffeine, and so on. And so Food Theory labels this as the best, worst idea ever. And I 100% agree. And so let's get right into it. What you see before you on screen is a liquor store in a jug cheekily named the Borg. And so back in the day, I'd carry around a four-liter jug, but now I simply carry a water bottle, a harder than last time shaker cup. You can literally mix in whatever you want, carry it with you on the go. And so you could carry with you Perry Light, going to help you get hydrated, prevent dehydration. Also has EAs, BCAs, going to help you stay hydrated. And so considering the board contains alcohol, well, I'd strongly suggest you take something to help with hydration. And so Perilite could in fact be the answer. And so although I'm not saying you should walk around college campuses mixing vodka and Perilite, it's certainly going to be a lot better than what people are currently doing. Gallon jug, unidentifiable liquid inside, usually a bright color that's reminiscent of a culty Kool-Aid and a gaggle of college tailgaters. And so the Borg stands for Blackout Rage Gallon. And so you have your gallon with some kind of water, alcohol, and whatever kind of coloring you add in it to make it taste better. It is hard to describe just how unappealing these things look from the outside. But the blackout rage gallon seems to be the apparent edge lord of the drinking game world. And so the idea of the Borg to me is not inherently bad, but what's bad is overdoing it. I mean, you're going to a party, you're going to mix various drinks, you put your drink down, you never know what somebody might do to your drink, or perhaps you're drinking other people's drinks, or someone gives you a drink, you taste it, it's so strong, disgusting, but you drink it anyway because, well, that's what you have. You don't want to embarrass yourself by saying no. Wouldn't it make more sense to go to a party, have everything pre-mixed, measure it out, make sure you're not over-consuming? But no, we're college students, we're Gen Z. Let's put in a fifth of vodka. Damn it, it's right. No, I dare you to go into a coma. Your typical board contains roughly a half gallon or 1.9 liters of water. What comes next in the recipe? A whopping fifth of alcohol, 750 milliliters. And so 750 mLs, we used to call this a 26er. That's a lot of vodka. Equivalent to about 17 beers. That's a lot. Why are we drinking that much vodka in one city? It's too much, unless you're the size of Eddie Hall or perhaps the mountain, you could handle that much. But a normal person, it's way too much alcohol to drink. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you'll taste absolutely none of that alcohol by drowning it in flavor enhancers. The standard choices seem to be Mio Black Cherry or Kool-Aid Tropical Punch. And mix in there an entire container of Mio Energy over 1,000 milligrams of caffeine, it's a recipe for disaster. The RDA says 400 milligrams of caffeine a day. And most pre-workout energy drinks, that 400 milligrams, that is the maximum. And so consider this, you're taking two and a half times the maximum dose of caffeine. You're going to a party drinking a ridiculous amount of alcohol, which is in fact a depressant, gonna make you tired, and offsetting that with an overabundance of caffeine. Very dangerous. Boom, done. Your Borg is complete. It all adds up to a gallon of fun and a whole lot of hospital visits. And so I can almost remember this like it was yesterday. I'd walk around with my four liter gallon of water, had in that blue color. People say, what are you drinking? Antifreeze or windshield washer fluid? What's going on? I'm like, no, I just added in my squirt to it. The definition of binge drinking is four drinks or more for a female and five drinks or more for a male within a two hour period. What the Borg actually qualifies for is the other category that you don't usually hear about high intensity drinking. And so what people are actually doing is high intensity drinking. I mean, is that really the best name they could come up with? Why don't you just call it they're getting drunk? High intensity drinking. When I was a student, we called it, we're gonna get drunk. We're gonna get hammered. We're gonna get trashed. We didn't say I'm going to partake in high intensity drinking. What are you talking about? This kind of drinking, as defined by the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, is an alcohol intake twice or more the gender-specific threshold for binge drinking. And so for men, that's over 10 drinks. For women, over 8. And I'm sure many have done this in the past. But consider this. Is it not better to pre-plan to say, hey, this is how much I'm going to drink. I am going to high intensity drink tonight. If you're of legal age and you say, I'm going to high intensity drink tonight, I know that is involving 10 drinks or more. 
And so rather than drinking 17, which is ridiculous, I'm going to limit myself to 10. Wouldn't that make more sense? You carry your jug with you. You mix it appropriately. No one has to know how much or how little you're drinking. You have your Borg drink. Everyone fits in. No one can judge you. And if you don't want to drink anything, you still have a Borg, but you don't put any alcohol in it. Everybody wins. Not to mention that's your own drink with its own cover. People can't spike your drink. You're not sharing drinks with other people. And so it's in reality a lot safer. The traditional version of the Borg involves a full bottle of Mio Black Cherry flavoring. The Mio Black Cherry contains an eye-watering 1,080 milligrams of caffeine. And so can't people just use their heads instead of taking in 1,080 milligrams of caffeine? Can't they do half? As I always say with my friends, when in doubt, do half. If you really need more later, well, decide at that point. But remember, don't break the law and don't do these kind of things without the advice and consent from a medical doctor. I certainly don't think it's smart to even take half of 1,080 milligrams of caffeine. Caffeine is a neurostimulant, meaning it has the ability to stimulate the central nervous system and dilate your arteries, and thereby making you feel more alert. Alcohol, on the other hand, is a little bit more complicated. And so what happens, for example, when you consume a vodka and Red Bull, the caffeine in the Red Bull, that is a stimulant. It releases dopamine. The vodka you're drinking initially seems to perk you up and releases dopamine. And so after one or two drinks, you may feel more alert. You may feel better, more social, more talkative. But as you continue to drink, yeah, that's right. You're drinking harder than last time. The alcohol becomes a depressant. It slows you down, but you're continuing to consume vodka and Red Bulls. And so there's a stimulant, a depressant. And so your body's confused. You overconsume alcohol. Caffeine dilates your blood vessels, making them bigger. It means that they're able to carry more blood. This literally opens up the pathway for more alcohol to get to your brain than would otherwise happen. And so by overconsuming caffeine in conjunction with alcohol, you're dilating your blood vessels, you're getting even more alcohol to the brain, and you're getting even more drunk. You're quite literally drunker than last time. And so your decision-making skills, your ability to reason, your ability to speak, it gets more and more out of whack. The caffeine can actually trick you into thinking you're not drunk, that you're more sober than you are. And if you were to ever operate a motor vehicle, well, that could end in tragedy. Earlier this month, 46 students from the University of Massachusetts Amherst were hospitalized due to board consumption. It took a total of 28 different ambulances to handle all of the cases. And so imagine 46 people People were hospitalized drinking this board drink. They had 28 ambulances arrive to try and help the situation. Where the heck are they finding this many ambulances? And what kind of party are they having where that many people are consuming an entire board drink? Why would anyone think that drinking 750 mils of vodka at once is a good idea? As we say with training, cardio, lifting weights, studying, progressive overload. Start with one drink. How does that affect you? before going on to two. Don't think, oh, I know, I'm gonna drink a fifth of vodka. Don't dare me to friggin' drive. Damn, it's obviously a bad idea to drink 17 shots of vodka mixed with caffeine. But you know what's a good idea? Not drinking even one shot of someone else's vodka. And so when he says 17 shots, he's actually referring to 1.5 shots. 17, one and a half shots. Shot of vodka, one ounce. That's not what they're referring to. It's an ounce and a half. There are 26 ounces in a 750 ml container of vodka. And so it's quite literally two pints. There's 13 ounces in a pint. And there's 65 calories in one ounce of 40% alcohol. Alcohol has seven calories per gram, and these are considered empty calories. They're not healthy calories. There's no important vitamins and minerals you're getting from alcohol. And so alcohol, to me, they're unwanted calories. Can you think of one thing you might be able to do to make sure your drink is never spiked at a party? Maybe you carry your own. Maybe you make sure it's in a sealed container with a cap that only you open and close. And so to me, making your own Borg drink responsibly with an appropriate amount of alcohol, an appropriate amount of caffeine, not overdoing it, and keeping an eye on it, having the cover, not sharing it with with other people, well, to me, that makes sense. But if you're a complete moron, and you put two and a half times the caffeine you should consume in a day and 17 servings of alcohol, well, you're asking for trouble. Use your brains for once, be intelligent, don't take risks, chances. This can dramatically affect your life in a bad way. Be careful accepting drinks from strangers. You never know what may happen. Don't put yourself in danger. 
ending it here. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for your algorithm, and if you're hung over the next day, please consider using Perilite or consider drinking it the night before. You're going to be even more hung over if you're dehydrated. Try to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. If you don't like water, mix in Perilite. It has various electrolytes, just like Pedialyte. It also has BCA and EAA. It's going to help you to prepare and build muscle. And so interested in this and all the other supplements, including my new protein bar, raspberry cheesecake, as well as other protein bars, click the link in the description code greg 10% off don't forget watch one of the two bloops come on watch one also the cookbooks training books coaching plans by me and my team that circle diet book my life's work how to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life follow me on instagram greg you said i'd be pro and until next time i am out